Hi guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to Stikes. Um, today I'm just going to be doing a style inspiration, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get right into it. To create a high puff that falls on your face. Yeah, I have an event in two hours, and that's what I'm going to do. So first, I'm just taking a long scarf that I have to secure my whole hair and um, create the puff first of all yeah that's what i'm doing yeah so i'm just moving it forward so that it sits on my crown the whole puff that is yeah you have to be careful here because it gets tangled up Yes, yeah, so it should be separated so that you don't have you don't have to start tying your hair with the whole tie. Yeah. So I'm just pulling out my hair. Yes. Yeah, just pulling out. Oh, I should say this is an old twist out. Yeah. So yes, it's an old twist out. I actually just fluffed it before this video. Okay, so because I don't want to use this long tie to own my hair because it's probably going to be showing. So I take the hairband and I actually soon realized that <laughs> it can't go twice. It's too small to go twice and it's too big to secure the hair family. So now I have to look for something else to secure it that there is not too obvious like that tie I just removed. Okay, this is it. There's still a lot of space. Yeah. So I have to look for something else. Now, I just checked around and I saw my brother's sneakers. <laughs> and I just removed the tie on the sneakers. So that was what I used. And since the band has already secured the eye puff, it was easier to tie. I didn't have to remove the band again because it wasn't exactly disturbing so i just left it there like yes if you want it to still be higher to come up more you just have to push it forward and secure it with a tie so what I'm doing now is to just wrap the whole tie around the hair and make sure that my whole hair is out. That's why I was pulling, pulling it out. And because the hair is falling forward, um, I would want the last tight to be in front so that i can hide it under the whole waterfall <laughs> for lack of better words yeah so that's the last tie i want to put it in front yeah so my hair can cover all of that Yep. So you see that there is not even a trace of the tie because all you can see is my hair falling forward. So if it's too tight, 
because there's a possibility it's actually too tight if it's too tight you want to just pull at it a bit or retie or just try and bring out some of your hair or even try and pull it up pull the tie up a bit more so that there's less um hang in it and it will loosen up not less hair per se just the volume yes less volume because as you move higher the volume decreases so less volume so that's basically it i'm just um trying to set this to how i want it to be so i'm spraying um the contents of my spray bottle which is basically water my conditioner oil my oil mix my oil mix contains um castor oil coconut oil and any other oil i can get my hands on really then also i added glycerin because over here it's raining nowadays so i want the glycerin to absorb all the moisture in the atmosphere and bring it to my hair you know so that's the content of my spray bottle and because i also don't want to add gel to my hair i don't really like gel so i just use the content of my spray bottle i use my brush to brush it down this particular brush i got from a friend of mine i don't know where she got it from but i know i had been looking for this particular type of brush for a long time and i just saw it with her and i just grabbed it <laughs> quickly so yeah i've been using this brush for a long time it's my only grill actually so after that i just use this scarf around my hair to just lay my hair a little bit so i wouldn't necessarily have to use gel i it's not like i hate using gel i just prefer not to use it really because that that way my wash day has to come forward and i mean wash days are not exactly happy days <laughs> so yeah and um, also days when i still want to carry my twist out or my braid out I, I i just don't like to use gel except i know wash day is in like two or three days yeah so the mixture helps my hair to be wet so i can pull it hard more so it can have more volume Okay, that is just a, a twist that I didn't separate. Yeah. So just separate it and with the water it's easier to bring my hair out and it's easier to make it into the shape I want. Yeah, so That's another and that one that wasn't separated here. Yeah. So yes, just to make it fall to fall and to fall. If you want it to fall more like to your face, you can just bring it forward more i'm not exactly particular about my edges that's one thing about me i'm not okay so so the final step here i have had my bath and everything i've done my makeup and now to the hair so now I'm just trying to pull it up, pull it out since the um, sassin bonnet has um, formed it already. I'm just trying to pull it out. Yeah. Mm. 
that's another strand that wasn't loosened so i just quickly loosen it and put it back in there yep yep okay all right so because i am wearing a blue shoe and my edges are not laid um i want to use a headband to one hide the fact that my edges are not laid <laughs> And also to add a little bit of beauty to the whole puff. Yeah. It really is beautiful. I like it. I'm just trying to push it up and see which way it sits best. guys this is it this is my eye puff this is the way i'm going to rock it to my event the event is a book launch girls just want to run by Atiko nafisa i hope you guys enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe i'll see you in my next video bye